He feeds her by regurgitating food items one at a time. Another duty. Clay and mud is collected. The female uses the clay to seal the nest entrance, preventing predators from attacking and eating the eggs or chicks in the future. Gender roles of the pheasant-tailed jacanas are reversed, with females defending three or more males. The eggs are left with the males for incubation and parental care. The female defends the nesting territory. The female great hornbill has now spent 35 days incubating her two eggs. The male is constantly searching for more food for his partner and coming chicks. This is father care. Two small hornbill chicks see the light of day, a miracle in the tropical forest. As the chicks grow, their dietary requirements change and they need more protein than figs can provide. The female refuses what the male has brought. He must let the figs fall to the ground and regurgitate something more appropriate for a growing bird, like an insect. It takes three months for the chicks to mature. The proud father supervises the growing life at the nest with tender care. Another miracle at Bang Porapet. Two chicks have already left their eggs. The third is still fighting to escape the shell. The eggshell is removed so that predators are not attracted to the nest by smell. Amazingly, the young are able to run, swim and dive as soon as they have hatched. But sometimes the confrontation with the real world is too much for a newborn pheasant-tailed jacana chick. Chicks may remain with the male for up to two months after hatching. The northern part of Thailand is characterized by mountains and steep cliffs. Doi Changdao, one of the highest peaks in the country, with dramatic cliff-ridden mountains 
as high as 2,000 meters. In this hostile environment of rugged, rocky terrain, the long-tailed goral is one of the few species that can survive the harsh landscape and cold temperatures. Like ballet dancers, they jump elegantly from one cliff to another. The goral eats a wide range of plant material, grass, herbs, and tree leaves. They typically live in small groups of four to 12 individuals. Mating time is November and December, and the mother will give birth to only one foal at a time. The goral has very few natural enemies because their habitat is so inhospitable to most other animals. Testing each other out is usually more a game than a threat. The female hornbill and one of the chicks has now left the hole in the tree, leaving the other behind. The view and the distance from the tree to the ground must seem terrifying. The chick hesitates. Perhaps it is dazzled by the green world outside. The female attempts to lure it out with a fig. In Finally, the young hornbill is airborne. Their social hierarchy is crucial for keeping the troop together. <laughs> Juvenile males forge their own relationships through play and mock fights. Sometimes it's hard to tell which is which. Their antics serve another purpose helping young monkeys develop the skills they'll need to survive in the canopy. The dry season is approaching and the troop must take advantage of the last remaining fruits of the flood. Careless fumble provides a treat to the tambaki fish lurking in the shallows below. The lush green world of the canopy is not without dangers. A squirrel monkey spots a harpy eagle and sounds the alarm, alerting everything in earshot. The giant harpy eagle is well adapted to life in the thick canopy. And it's fully capable of plucking a monkey right off a branch. A determined male with a chick to feed poses a special threat. Ranging far and wide to find food, its nest is over three kilometers away at the top of a giant tree. The kumaru tree can grow up to a height of 50 meters. 
Local people prize its bark and seeds as medicine, using it to treat everything from snake bite to earache. The female harpy eagle and her chick nest safely in its crown. She is truly a giant, the largest raptor in the Americas, with a wingspan of up to two meters. Her talons are as large as a grizzly bear's, capable of grabbing prey that weighs half as much as she does. In spite of her size and strength, her chick is at risk from many enemies. including disease-carrying flies. Like the native tribes, it seems the mother understands something about the health benefits of plants. She frequently brings fresh green twigs and branches to freshen the nest. And her efforts seem to keep parasites and insects away from her precious chick. But there are other threats for which she has no defense. hardwood of the kumaru tree is sought out by loggers. Man may not be king of this jungle, but with a chainsaw in his hand, he can rule supreme. percent of the Amazon rainforest has already been cleared, threatening not only the harpy eagle, but all life on Earth. The forest is a vast storehouse of carbon, and its destruction releases massive amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. That contributes to global climate change. As the trees disappear, the worldwide threat grows. And wildlife in the Amazon is in peril. Forest loss presents a special danger for the threatened harpy eagle. This is the mother's third attempt at nest building and the third tree she has selected. The previous two have been cut down. It takes harpy eagles a year to raise a single chick. Will this one grow to adulthood? The foresters are only a kilometer away. As the season shifts from wet to dry, water levels are dropping. The receding floodwaters will allow jaguars to expand their hunting grounds. And that could give the scientists a better chance of locating and capturing their quarry. 
They are eager to learn more about the big cat's behavior and to assess the overall health of this part of the Amazon. The speakers are already broadcasting Jaguar calls. Maybe this simple technology will make the difference. They don't have long to wait. They've captured a young female in her prime. She'll soon be ready to breed. And her success will be a real test of the health of the environment. They need to sedate her quickly and safely. This is the most dangerous part of the project for both the scientists and the animal. The drugs work fast. Now they can gather the information they need. A radio collar and GPS tracking tag will allow the scientists to follow the jaguar's movements through the forest. This research will provide clues to her behavior during the dry season to come. And that will help the scientists understand more clearly how she survives in her secret domain. The insights they gain could help secure the future of the forest itself. The Amazon is filled with questions waiting to be answered. Mysteries to be solved. Ceaseless change is at its heart. With the end of the floods, the forest re-emerges. Birds return to branches that sheltered fish. Amazing stories of adaptation have been the key to survival here for millions of years. But as the world changes, can the Amazon endure? <laughs>